Today on IODP Expedition 318, Wilkie's Land. Exploring the history of Antarctica. We have chicken, the classic hamburgers, pork spare ribs, sausage, corn on the cob, and a nice table with uh, sweets and salads. A burger, a uh, great first time outside barbecue. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Where else in the world can you have a barbecue and look at icebergs at the same time? You just have to eat fast. Your food gets cold real quick. This is one of the best icebergers I have ever tasted. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think it's harder for people that maybe it's the first time they come and they don't know what to expect. They don't understand that sometimes you have uh, lots of isolation from your regular world, while at the same time you don't have any isolation at all because you're here surrounded with 130 people that uh, there is no place to hide. Antarctic is obviously for everybody it's sort of a fascinating far away place and to be able to go there is just absolutely amazing of course. And you share experiences that you would not have shared otherwise. Good morning final core let's go home. Although the expedition has ended the real adventure begins because now we're going to be able to do the science. We've got a lot of research planning to get the scientists all going on the post grease research. We're focused on the future. Now we're going to take these cores and uh, start seeing what secrets they have that tell us about the history of uh, glaciers on Antarctica. The jump. Is this a daily work of a coach chief? Yes, this is when a coach chief, hands on, hands on, yes. The role of the coach chiefs is that you are like a conductor of an orchestra. You make sure that all the people are on the same page, that everybody walks with the music, that everything comes together at the right moment, and that you also sort of interpret with the whole group and then also sort of generate new ideas from that. Also sort of have a helicopter view of the entire operation from talking to the captain, to the drillers, that we get the sort of maximal results. We had contingencies for weather, we had contingencies for ice, and we also had contingencies for being wrong in our assessments of what the seismic and conformities, which we thought were the boundaries to which main steps in Earth's climate had happened, what if we were wrong? It hasn't been stressful, even though there has been times that um, there has been disappointments uh, because, well, you know, some of the objectives uh, cannot be met fully because uh, we weren't unable to drill in, in some of the ice-covered areas. Well, uh, we're trying to take the first core, and unfortunately, uh, when the core barrel came back, the only the upper half was left and recovered, so we lost the lower part of the core barrel. This is ocean drilling. This is what you get. Mother nature is Mother in charge. Mother nature. <laughs> Mother nature is in charge. But these are disappointments that uh, you also have to realize that uh, come with, with where you're trying to, to work. This is a very hard area to work in because of all the challenges. Um, so I think um, I truly enjoyed it. The whole show came together like really, really well. And not just with the science uh, folks, but also with the techs. And that helps to also uh, let everybody settle in well. It's just uh, really amazing. We're on the same ship. We're working so, hand by So actually, by finally, hand. We, we can work together <laughs> after all this time. I think that we are now at day 60, 65 or something. But I still have a have a ball. I mean, it's just been a great ride. Final core, very exciting, wonderful expedition, wonderful science party, wonderful drillers and tech support. What? What can we ask? Nothing else. He's a man with a plan. Today on Penguin TV, ocean drilling for kids. Hi. Hi. Are you the co-chiefs? Who yes. are these guys? Are we are the co-chiefs and the staff scientists right here. Guys, what are you drilling in Antarctica? That's where we like to live. Yeah, why are you drilling where we live? Yeah. Oh, well, we came here to drill in Antarctica because Ooh. we want to learn about the ice sheet history. Ooh. And we want to learn about climate and how the climate was maybe very different in the past. Is that true? Is the climate? Really changing? Well, if we were on a drill ship, we take cores in the seafloor, if you've been watching all the videos, and we... Hey, now focus. That's right. And we have many scientists on the ship who work and uh, investigate the sediments that we recover. So, why are is you... Is that Hank? What are you no, doing Hank? on this ship? Oh, that's Hank. That's guys, Hank. That's Hank. I'm Adam. That's Hank. No, that's Hank. That's Hank. Oh, that's what you were, Adam. So, what do co-chiefs do on the ship? 
think of, of a big, very big orchestra, and for Lotte and I, we are the directors of the orchestra. Let's try. One, two, three, three go! go. <laughs> How about Adam? Adam, what's your work on the ship? I help the scientists uh, and work with them and the technical staff and the drillers to get cores and to, to make the most out of the cores that we get. Guys, what have you enjoyed the most around What was your here? favorite part of the cruise? Well, the best experience has been to work with everybody on the ship to get these wonderful cores. Oh, and, uh, hey guys. And you know, to work with these uh, wonderful penguins. Yes. Oh, guys, guys. See, that's what we have to do with the scientists too. Don't fight. Samples for everybody. Behave, Behave and focus. Behave and focus. Let's do it. No. Are you hungry? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, the galley. Ah, you galley. must go and see Alex because I think now because you're very hungry and he has a big fish for you guys. And you know what? Whoa. You know what? Alex has the best restaurant in town. Yeah. Oh. This is not this fish. This is not fish. This is fishy, no, mate. Do you know how to speak fish. Spanish? Yes, I will. Come on, Espanol. Come on, Espanol. Next up, Hobart, Tasmania. We are in Hobart and we did it. We did it. No, uh, no more ice. Everything without ice from now on. I miss my family, really. Good. Thirsty. You know, you've mixed emotions about leaving the boat, but looking forward to having the first nice cold beer in two months. A little bit of flies in the stomach. <laughs> Today on Gone in 30 Seconds with Stephen Picard. Very good. I guess this is the big goodbye. The Wilkesland Antarctic Expedition may have come to a close, but the real scientific venture is just about to begin. We, the scientists on the Geordie's Resolution, will now begin to decipher Antarctic climate changes around Antarctica by looking at well-recovered sedimentary cores that were from the hothouse off of Antarctica. Clearly, we have gone where no drilling bit has gone before. So onward to the next adventure. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs>